Henry David Thoreau said, quote, the man who goes alone can start today, but he who travels with another must wait till that that the other is ready, unquote. Clearly more people must wake up until we, can, until we can even really begin this journey of taking back the planet. Yet, it's taking them so long. Personally, it is my single greatest single frustration, waiting for people who are so slow to come to any realization of what's going on. How do you deal with that in waiting, or do you? I don't. I don't wait. I don't wait. And... Uh, there is something I would like to convey uh, that comes straight out of my understanding of Gaia, straight out of my communication with Gaia, because I have the privilege as a Gnostic and a shaman, a Gaian shaman, to access certain intelligence, as it were. And Gaia is teaching me certain things. Uh, she's teaching me about her ways. She's teaching me her magic. It's a very profound instruction. And I would like to share with you in response to the concern of this person, which I also feel, I'd like to share to you one of the things she told me. She said to me, and this is almost an exact quote, I don't play the numbers, I play the odds. This is how I interpret that. Gaia also wants to see the divine experiment put back on course. She wants to see us live together as brothers and sisters to dance and celebrate and play, to learn how to have free energy, to make a social utopia on earth and to deal with conflict and differences in our society but not to allow the predators to run the game. She deeply, deeply wants that because our presence here is part of her. We are her experiment. Human species is a, is a very unique component in her experiment. Yeah. She told me, she's not counting, ever would count on the great majority of the human species to wake up. Because she doesn't play the numbers, she plays the odds. So this is how I interpreted that. If today, she plays also on what is called a 5-1 parity. 5 is equal to 1 in her calculations. So, if there were today, let's say, 10,000 predators, these interspecies predators, the financial banking gangsters, the financial terrorists, the military terrorists, the religious terrorists, they're all terrorists, you know. Uh, if they were here with their control game, there were 10,000 of them, let's say, at the executive level. We know that they have many accessories. They know We know that they even have good people, unfortunately, who stupidly do their bidding for them. But let's just talk about 10,000 New World Order psychopaths operating at the executive level. What would Gaia require in order to turn that program and defeat their aims? She would need 2,000 people who saw completely through the game. 2,000 against 10. Why? Because she works on a 5-1 parity. Mm. So Gaia doesn't require that the whole human race undergo some paradigm shift. She doesn't require a quantum leap that... Uh, spreads like surf through humanity and all these people wake up. I'm not waiting for nobody to wake up. Nobody. What I'm doing is I'm taking my stand on the front line of these 2,000, of these of the critical group of warriors and visionaries that she requires. She doesn't require uh, a majority. She doesn't work on democratic principles. You see? So forget it and let go of your despair. And don't wait until people are ready. <laughs> you know, I have to tell you, I don't know who this person is, but I have to have a lot of problems in society because I've just about blown away most of the people that I've met socially in the last uh, three years since I got to turn on Guy Awakening. And uh, I just... Hmm? Then I'm just saying, this is Joe from Nashville. Okay, Joe from Nashville, I'll tell you, this is funny. Uh, I had a big argument with a friend of mine here in Spain uh, when she said, John, you know, what are you doing? I mean, you have to wait till people are ready. And I said, no, I don't. <laughs> because I was pushing people's buttons and confronting them with things. And she said, well, John, you know, people can only come to something when they're ready. And I said, she said, you have to uh, respect their limits. I said, I have no respect for anybody's limits. Not now, it's too late. You know, and so don't wait, don't be in despair. 
Just take your place in the front line. Be brave. Be, be brave. Be, be invited be brave. out of parties if you have to. Be very just brave. Like, just like Jay Whitener does. But uh, he's <laughs> just like Jay is not. Exactly.